All right, YouTube. So I uh, posted a short video of my Battle Beaver on a gaming page on Facebook, and there was uh, quite a bit of questions on it and uh, quite a bit of interest in it. So I'm gonna try and do a better video for you today. Uh, reasons why I chose my Battle Beaver Customs controller. Uh, what I think of it right now, today, after playing with it for, say, at least 15 hours. And uh, talk about a couple of the options that I got, why I chose them, what I chose, and things like that. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will try to answer them. So, let's get into it. Uh, so, it's a Battle Beaver's Customs Controller. As you already know, Battle Beaver Customs. Try and get their logo in there, or whatever it is. All right, so we're done with that. Okay, so anyways, Battle Beavers Customs Controller. If you don't already know, which you should, I guess it would be. Ah, oh crap! Forgot my PlayStation's on. Uh, I guess if you don't know, it'd be considered a Pro controller, uh, MLG controller, whatever you want to call it. There's a couple of companies out there. There's uh, Battle Beavers Customs, obviously. There's Scuff, which everybody knows. And there's the controller shop and Cinch Gaming are some of the ones that the name a few. Uh, Scuff has paddles on the back. I'm trying to hold my, my camera too. So Scuff has paddles on the back that would be right here that work as your face buttons. Battle Beaver has buttons. Cinch, I believe, has buttons or paddles. I don't remember. The controller shop, I believe, is uh, paddle, some type of paddle. Um, but Battle Beaver uses buttons. I don't mind the buttons. I, I don't know if I would have liked the paddles better. Um, I will talk about a couple of things that Battle Beaver has that I don't see anybody else having. Which is, one, the smart triggers. So... Melsh. I don't know if you can hear that click, but uh, right now my controllers L2 and R2 are sitting at 0% because they are not clicked. And now, that little bit of movement, small little mouse click, that's 100% uh, of the trigger. So if we compare that to a stock controller, so, stock controller is resting at 0%. Now it's a hunter. In between, now it's a hunter, hunter, 0, hunter, 0, hunter, 0, 50, 60, 25, anywhere in there. Now, what I see a lot of companies do, like Cinch, Controller Shop, uh, Scuff, what I see them do is they add a trigger trigger stop or adjustable triggers or hair trigger whatever you want to call it essentially it's some type of oh, that's pretty dirty in there it's some type of uh screw in here that you can set and you can have the trigger resting at like say 15 percent and then you you adjust the, the stop point at say 50 percent or 60 or whatever it is and supposedly that's their uh, hair trigger, their adjustable triggers, their trigger stops. Supposed to be, you know, all that cool and great. Now, what Battle Beaver has done, like I said, is zero, a hunter. Z zero, hunter. Smallest little movement. Now, what makes that set uh, set out to me, uh, what sets that apart, I should say, from the other companies for me, is the fact that not all games and not all guns fire their, their guns at the same, uh, same point. Some uh, guns will fire at 40%, some will fire at 50%, some 60 some 63 So, with the adjustable triggers and trigger stops... It's kind of hard to, to fine-tune it for each gun, uh, each game, unless you only play one game, use one gun, one character, then maybe you can fine-tune it. But having the ability to go 0 to 100 in just that smallest of a mouse click, any gun, any game, doesn't matter, 
your ADSing, and your firing. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, just switch and use L1 and R1. Yeah, that's cool, you can do that, but that feels weird. I don't wanna, I don't wanna ADS with that. That's not what I wanna do. Um, I wanna ADS with this, and it's, it's comfortable, it's natural to me. Um, sometimes I play four fingers, you know, two up here and two over there, depending on the game. Uh, but most of the time, I play like everybody else, right here, right here. ADS, and shoot over there. So, that's one of the number one reasons why I chose Battle Beaver Custom over any of the competitors. That, that was one of the top, if not the main and only reason... For me, at least, that smart trigger is what they call it. That was top-notch, grade A. Nobody, no other company could match it, beat it, had anything else better. I, it's absolutely the bee's knees for me. Now, let's talk about the, uh, the button placement. Let me see if I can get something to hold my, my camera up here. So, button placement on the back. Okay. Button placement on the back. As you can see, this would be how I normally hold my controller. And as you can see, my fingers, my middle fingers here, they rest right over the, the buttons. So, when I grab the controller, so the buttons are in their standard position is what Battle Beaver calls it. And they are in actually a very comfortable position. It's a little weird to get used to. Oops. But you can easily push the button. Easily. I don't want to press the X button because my PlayStation is on and I don't know what it's on right now. But this is my circle and this is my X. Circle, X, circle, X. It's a very comfortable position. I, I really like the... The position that they put the buttons in, they're very, very comfortable. Now, I will get into the other reason I chose Battle Beaver Customs over anybody else. And that is thumbstick tension. So, one other thing that I've seen... Knock it off. One other thing that I've seen exclusive to Battle Beaver Customs that I did not see any other company offering is the tension on the thumbstick now i'm gonna i don't know how how i can really demonstrate this um oh i could probably just do like this so as you can see i can flick the thumbstick do, 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 on my stock controller and now uh, that doesn't really, you can't really tell that it's harder. Well, it's harder on this one. This one has has more tension. I, I increased the, the thumbstick tension on that, uh, that trigger. Or here, that might. So you see how quick that one goes back? There you go. That's how we can show you the, the difference. You can see by me flicking it. You can see by me flicking it that this one has much more thumbstick tension on it. And what that has done for me in game is I was able to increase my sensitivity. Uh, for instance, in Siege, I play my ADS sensitivity as a hunter all the time. That's what I play as. But my vertical and horizontal with my stock controller and control freaks was 22, 24, I believe. And now, with the increased thumbstick tension, I am up to 34, 36 on my vertical and horizontal tension, or sensitivity. Um, but I don't feel like it. I, I feel like I'm down here at the in the 20s, low 20s, with this controller, but I in-game, I'm in a higher sensitivity. 
And that's due to the increase in thumbstick tension that, that they offer. I'm able to get more control over my character and increase my movement speed, which is awesome. Um, the control freaks, they do help a lot. When I just added the control freaks to my stock controller, I was able to go up about two, three sensitivity, um, vertical, horizontal. Um, but when I got my Battle Beaver, I, I went up almost 10, uh, 10 notches on both sensitivities. So, if you're thinking of getting a custom controller, an aftermarket controller, pro controller, whatever you want to call it, I do highly recommend Battle Beaver Customs over any of the competition. And the only reason, the only two reasons is... that and the thumbstick tension i mean those are reasons enough on its own uh to get to get this controller what i've noticed is before with this controller when i would come around a corner and i would need to ads real quick to, to check my corners that long trigger pull sometimes caused me caused me issues not ads and quick enough Another thing I noticed is if I seen a guy and I had to shoot him dead, I wasn't shooting quick enough. I was dying. Part of that is my shitty gameplay. I, I know I'm not the best gamer in the world. I, I'm far from it. I'm mediocre at best. But I have fun. But I I do notice that sometimes this long trigger pull, just my reaction time, I would see the guy. By the time I pulled the trigger, I'm already dead. Same scenario. I see the guy, I pull the trigger, and because of that short trigger pull, I'm getting the shot off first more times than not now, and that is uh, that's awesome for me. Ow. Um. So I mean that alone, that trigger pull, is reason enough to to, to buy a Battle Beaver Customs. Um. Thumbstick tension. I recommend everybody get the increased tension. I they have two different ones they, or three I guess they have stock tension they have increased which is this one and then I think they have uh, what they call extreme and I went with the increase they say it feels like an Xbox 360 controller never used one can't compare it to that reason I didn't go extreme though is the reason I didn't go extreme is because on their website they say extreme may have difficulties clicking the R3 and L3 buttons. Um, I do notice that this one is increased tension, this one is stock tension. I do notice that R3 is a little bit harder to click than L3. And it's probably just the increased tension, like they said. Uh, now, Battle Beaver, Sh Cinch, uh, Controller Shop, Scuff, all of them, they offer a million and one plus uh, color combinations, designs, everything like that. I kept it simple, just purple backing, uh, purple face buttons. That, that was it. Stock front front shell. Um, I didn't really want to go crazy. I still wanted to kind of keep the look of the PS4 controller, but you know, have it look like it was a, a custom made controller. And uh, all together, this controller cost me $150 shipped to my door. Now, build time, I, I want to say it was about two weeks it took. Uh, took about two weeks for, for it to get built and shipped out. But once it shipped out, it was at my house in two days. The, from the second that I got the tracking information saying that it shipped out to the second it came to my door was legitimately two days. Um, from what I know of Battle Beaver, in the past, they, they've kind of had a reputation of taking a very long time to build and ship controllers. I, I don't know why that is or, you know, how that can be or, or whatever the cases were. Maybe it was during the holidays when they kind of got that reputation. I imagine they get busier in the holidays. But, uh, yeah, about two weeks it took to, to get it and, and uh, ship to my door. Um, I can't get over that right there. I mean, literally a mouse click. It, it is it's amazing. Uh, gameplay with this controller... I do feel it has improved my gameplay 
a little bit not much but it has improved it mainly due to the smart triggers and the increased thumb thumbstick tension um mainly do what do to do with those um the back buttons i haven't really used them too much i'm i'm trying to use them but it, it's i wouldn't say difficult it's just different I'm, I'm having a hard time getting use used to the can huh i'm having a hard time getting used to to the buttons back there what i just figured out is on my original review that noise that rattling i was complaining about it but it looks like it's just these buttons right here Looks like it's those buttons are, are rattling around a little bit. Not a big deal. I didn't notice it until I was looking at the camera that that my circle button is kind of kind of wonky looking. Um, I know I originally rated this at a seven. Then I, I raised my rating to a seven and a half on it. I I honestly think that seven and a half out of ten. It overall. Of everything about this controller overall rating seven and a half out of ten it is about where it needs to stay i know i said it might get up to an eight but about a seven and a half is where i feel comfortable rating this controller and th those ratings that rating has nothing whatsoever to do with the performance of the controller it, it is purely the only reason this controller has lost points with me is execution and the aesthetics um this wonky circle button for instance i don't like it the rattling of of my face buttons i don't like it it's it's not not cool it, that part of it feels kind of shitty um if we compare if you look right here and we look right here we notice a gap now i know it's just a tiny gap but it's still there it loses points with me if we notice on the back side how this d doesn't quite line up over here seamless not seamless but they line everything lines up better I get it aftermarket backing they probably made the backing themselves the shell themselves whatever still loses points for me um my option is share button as i've stated before a little too recessed in for me a little hard to push but you know just those reasons alone are what keeps this controller from reaching a 10 out of 10 uh rating with me now your controller if you order one from them might be different i am uh no way am i affiliated with battle beavers customs uh i'm not nearly cool enough for that so don't think i'm with them or with any other controller company i've, I've never had an aftermarket controller i've never had a pro controller or anything like that this is my first one um you know and, and like i said i i looked at all of the companies i researched all of them and what made battle beaver win out of every company out there every reason to choose any other company this increased tension and those smart triggers that is what made this company win versus any other company um i like the purple the purple is cool for me now they do offer remappable buttons on the rear they offer different placement i think you can get a super duper high placement up here standard low and then lower is like down here you can get four buttons on up to four buttons on the back i think you might be able to get six l3 and r3 if you really wanted it back there i don't know why you would but i know you can get at least up to four i'm pretty sure you can get up to six i don't remember i only wanted to i only wanted x and circle um so that's what i got x and circle or x and circle yeah x is over here circles over here um 
they got smart chairs you can get like i said repro reprogrammable buttons on the back so if you get multiples you can get a chip inside that you can remap the buttons however you want um you can get crazy increased tension on both sticks you can get different thumbsticks dome the aluminum xbox ps3 whatever you want put in there all different kinds of face options color options they have the smart triggers for your L1 and R1. I did not see that as a necess necessary thing to get. Um, maybe on my next controller, if I decide to get another one of these, I'll get smart triggers here and here, just so they all have the same feel. Um, but I really do like the smart triggers. I love the increased tension. Those are the two main reasons that I picked Battle Beaver Customs over any other controller. I cannot stress that enough. Those right there are the only main two reasons out of every other controller. Price wasn't an option that didn't factor in because every custom controller with the options I wanted, they all cost around the same. Um, you know, it was just those two features that Battle Beaver had that really won it out for me. That and I heard Scuff's customer service is kind of shit. Don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I hear from the grapevines. Um so if you're looking to get a custom made controller i i recommend battle beaver customs for all of those reasons again if you have any questions let me know i will try to answer them i will post this on a couple of my gaming pages on facebook for anybody who wants to see um control freaks i recommend those as well they are 15 dollars at gamestop you you can't beat it um, yes, I use GameStop. I absolutely love GameStop. It's the only place I buy games from or consoles or anything. The control freaks I have are the Galaxies. That's what I have on both of my controllers. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's uh, kind of a reasoning why I bought it. Try to do a little bit better video than my couple videos in the past. And after about... 15 16 hours or so of, of gameplay with it i will say it has helped my gameplay i have gotten a little bit better um nothing can beat raw skill but i have gotten a little bit better i have increased my my gameplay um and i do believe it is solely the smart triggers and the increased thumbstick for the better the higher sensitivity um so yeah that's uh that's really about it Battle Beaver Customs. I'm J Customs E28. That's me. Uh, PSN, Twi Twitch, uh, and YouTube. Obviously, that's who I am. You guys, uh, you know, if you like this video, subscribe, follow, whatever you want to do. If you don't like it, oh, well, sorry that I wasted your time. If I sound like an idiot, sorry I wasted your time. Not very good at making videos, but I try. Um, so that's it. All right. Oh, and uh, yes, like I said, seven and a half out of ten overall rating. Performance of the controller a ten, solid ten out of ten. Aesthetics, I like the way it looks. I love the color combination, but because of the reasons I've told you, that gets a seven out of ten. Um, and overall, you know, the quality of it gets a 9 out of 10 because the aesthetics knock it down so overall quality aesthetics and performance it reaches a seven and a half out of 10 for me again i'm jay custom z28 if you have uh, any questions let me know in the comments uh whatever i will try to answer them thank you very much and you guys have a wonderful day i am out